So, one of the women who has taken my makeup class asked me to do a review on this new brand. It's called Carity. So I figured I would get this up because I know that the girls who have taken my class now all want to know this, and I'm sure a lot of you do too. What are my thoughts on this brand? So I got three palettes to review. The Unicorn Dreams palette, which is super fun colors. Looks like this. I got the Peachy palette, which is called Just Peachy, and let me tell you guys, this is my happy place. I could eat this palette, live in this palette. It doesn't have the peach smell, but that's okay, that's okay. And this is the Nudes and Rudes palette. So this is more of a nude, purple, and mauve palette. Really pretty. So I'm gonna start by just doing swatches for you guys. I'm not gonna swatch all the colors. If you'd like me to do that, leave a comment down below and I will totally do it in my, on my blog, which is linked down below. I haven't been using it as much, but I'm going to be starting again. Let's start with the Just Peachy palette because it's the one that makes me the happiest. This has 15 eyeshadows in six different finishes. So that's what they call it. So they have Frost, Satin, Matte, Velvet, Metallic, and Duochrome. And they do all have names and I like that about them. I'm just gonna randomly swatch a few of them for you. So this is Creamy, Princess, Totally Sweet, and Yummy. So this is the top four, like four in the top row. I will say that the Metallics, which is Princess, do have kind of that bubble up texture. If you know what I'm talking about, when you rub a metallic, it kind of bubbles up underneath your hand. And you do have to kind of work it in more, but frick are they pigmented, you guys. I'm actually really loving this one. I feel like my eyes needed a pop of color tonight anyway, so let's just make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. I find them beautifully swatched. They are really pigmented. Like I said, when you use a brush in some of them, I did find that they had a little bit more kickback than when I'm doing hand swatches, but not a lot. From the next row, I'm going to do the Freshly Pick because this is a matte that is so pigmented and so smooth. I absolutely love it. Warm and Fuzzy is probably my new favorite coral orange. Then we have Delicious and Onam, which, oh my god, you guys, this is a gorgeous fall burgundy color. I just want to swatch these for you so you guys can get a really good feel for this palette. So can you see that the mattes are creamy? They're all pigmented. These are just like quick dips into the color. I'm not rubbing. I'm not destroying. I really like the quality of this brand. And it's a really good price point. I'm going to try the bottom one. So we're going to do Atlanta, Juicy, Organic, and Fruity. Because these are kind of the darker shades. And I feel like sometimes companies can be really good with lighter shades. But then when you swatch the darker shades, you don't get the same pigment. So, yeah, we're good. Do you guys see how pretty those are? So pretty. So I love this palette in general. I think that it has a really good variety of color. However, if you are not somebody who likes warm tones and kind of out there warm tones, there aren't a lot of neutral warm tones in here. It's more oranges and corals. There's a few browns, but not very many, and a couple purples. So if you're somebody who likes out there warm tones, this palette's for you. I think women of color, I think this palette would look stunning on you. I think you can create some of the most beautiful sunset eyes that will really play off your skin tone. I think this is a great buy for women of color and well for anyone who likes warm tones, but especially women of color. I feel like these colors would really, really complement your skin. So I'm kind of in love with that. Now the Unicorn Dreams palette is a fun novelty palette. If you're somebody like me who wears a lot of greens and royal blues, like you guys know that I do in the summer, this palette is a win for you. There's a lot of options in that blue green color family and that purple color family. But outside of that, there isn't anything super special about it. If you're not somebody who wears color, this is not a palette you want to purchase. This one has only two finishes. They call them glitter and matte. Now, I wouldn't go that far. Like, this sparkle color is 100% a metallic. It pulls off like a metallic. It has sheen like a metallic. It's a metallic. Fairy Tale is this beautiful royal blue. I will say that their mattes are so creamy. Uh, Sky is probably the color I've been using and playing with and staring at the most. Mermaid is also 100% a metallic. Like, it just, it has that metallic. Let me just, let me show you. So, I gotta rub this one in, though, because it's... So that's mermaid yeah that's a metallic this is sky sky is a gorgeous like 
gorgeous marine blue matte. This is, what's this one called? Fairy tale. This one's not as pigmented and I was a little disappointed, but blues are really hard to do and then matte blues are even harder. So once you build it up a bit, this is three kind of like one passes. It's really pretty. And this one is the color Sparkle, which is probably my favorite. It can be used as a highlight. It's light enough to be a highlight, but it's got some really pretty pink sheen to it. It's right there. Can you guys see it? So pretty. So pretty. So like I said, I feel like out of all the palettes, this one has the least usable function if you're not somebody who wears blues and greens. That's just the reality. I am going to swatch the two neutral colors. This is Forbidden. And this one looks like it's a bit of a sparkle, like it has a glitter to it, like a gold glitter flex. So, you know, maybe that's the glitter they're talking about, but it doesn't seem to transfer uh, a little bit. It doesn't transfer a lot to the hand. And then Forest is kind of your matte brown to kind of smoke out all those colors. But like I said, I just don't feel like there's a lot of looks you can create using just this palette unless you really do like really fun, really bright colors, which there are beautiful colors in there. I'm going to use those greens and blues a ton, but I'm going to have to use them with other things. So if you're somebody who's looking for a one and done palette, that's not your girl. Okay, the my favorite of all three of the palettes that I've been playing with is probably the Nude Roots. The, the Nudes and Roots. I love this palette for a few reasons. You're getting a huge variety here. You're getting... 21 eyeshadows, there are six mattes, six frosts, three satins, three metallics, two velvets, and one duochrome. I feel like this palette can create a lot of looks. There's a lot of choices when it comes to neutrals. You have a pink based highlight, a yellow based cream highlight, you have some beautiful lid colors, you have cool tones and warm tones. I feel like this palette is just a win. And as far as quality goes, this color here is Belle beautiful matte really pigmented this is fairy and fairy is one of my favorites it's like a, i'm pretty sure this is the duochrome there's smooth which is a cool toned matte kind of a gray just give you guys kind of like the hint isn't that pretty that's fairy that's shining off my hand there fairy is one of my favorites you guys bling is a beautiful silver i feel like this is a metallic but i don't know if that's what they're considering it so that's bling. Look at the color pigmentation of that. Then we go to the next row. We have this Riches, which is this beautiful kind of dirty gold that I really like. It's kind of like King Tut, which is what I'm wearing as my highlight today. Then we have kind of this Nell, which is this warmer toned burgundy brown that I think is stunning. Super pigmented. That's Nell. And then in the bottom row, you have all these beautiful colors. My favorite is Brit, which is definitely gorgeous it's this gorgeous oh my god it's like a copper burgundy it's so pretty and then i think this is a glitter finish and so i want to see what it does because normally glitters you have to kind of layer on top of things so this one is called witch and this looks like it has multicolored glitter in it with a deep purple color and let's watch the black while we're down here whoa that's a matte black if i've ever seen one let's put those over Look at that matte black, you guys, and that's Witch. I'm not sure how I feel about Witch. I wanted it to show the sparkle more. It doesn't really, but that matte black is life. So, that's how I feel about this palette. Now, again, buying a palette is truly a personal decision. It comes down to asking yourself a few things. Number one, will I use this palette? It's not going to do you any good to buy a palette that has one color in it that you love or two colors in it that you love because in this day and age and in this market, every brand has every color. Let me rephrase that. I don't mean every brand is every color because that's not true, but every color is dupable. So there may be a dose of colors mint green eyeshadow that you love and I bet you, you can find a mint green eyeshadow in at least one other brand. So I guarantee you if I took some time, I could probably dupe every color in this palette to something else. So I feel like if you're somebody who looks at this Unicorn Dreams palette and you're like, oh my God, I need that color sky or that color mermaid. I know Makeup Geek color carries colors that are identical dupes to these. I know ColourPop carries colors that are identical dupes to these. So the reality is in this day and age, you can totally buy palettes based on will I use them and how often will I use them. So for me, as, as somebody who's telling consumers what to go and get and what I think is worth your money, here's the difference. You're not getting a mirror in this one. So what? What's the likelihood that you're going to use this mirror to apply your makeup? 
one in a million, 90% of people, maybe even 95% of people will not use this mirror. So if you're looking at just the palettes, are you getting bigger eyeshadows here? Uh, let's see. So the eyeshadow palettes are the same size, you just get more in here. And the biggest difference is when I look at these two palettes, I know I'm gonna use a lot of colors out of this. I would say more than half, if not three quarters of them will get a lot of use. When I look at this, four or five colors will get some use. One or two might get a little tiny bit of use and the rest of them might not even get touched. So you have to consider that when considering what palette in your life you wanna purchase. You wanna consider how much you're gonna use it, how often you wear those colors, what's important to you in a palette. As far as quality goes, I love the quality of these eyeshadows. I think that they're smooth and blendable. There were only a few that were kind of misses for me. Everything else was gorgeous. I just think buying palettes is such a personal choice. Would I recommend the quality of this brand? Yes, I would recommend the quality of this brand. All these palettes had great textured eyeshadows. All these palettes had pigmented eyeshadows. All these palettes had eyeshadows that I feel like would work really well on the eye. I've been using them for weeks. They do work really well on the eye. So as far as quality, yeah, they're great quality and they're a really good price point. As far as do you need them? That's only a decision you guys can make. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and show me some love. You can also thumbs up this video. If you are not yet on my Facebook page, you should catch the link down below and go on there. I am gonna be selling off a whole bunch of my collection. The time has come. There's a bunch of products that I've never used, either not the right color for me, didn't like the formulation, didn't work for my skin type or my skin tone. So I'm gonna be getting rid of so much stuff. So if you're not already on the Facebook page, there's a link down below where you can find it. I'm also running makeup classes. If you guys don't know, you can follow the link to my uh, Facebook page and that will tell you more about the classes as well. Those are really personal one-on-one -on -one private Facebook groups where we do I go live and I answer questions and I show you guys how to do your makeup step by step. So if you're somebody who's brand new to makeup or would just like to take a basics class to learn about some makeup artist tips and tricks, that'll be linked down below as well. We are starting that class in just a few days. So make sure you check out that link and I hope to see some of you guys in there. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.